We are live. So, Nick, we're going to have to buy a little time as I wait for that to come over. Well, I can always share them from my end if I need to, but... Um, I'm sure I'm sure it'll be here any second. So we're waiting on my yeah, we're waiting on we're, we're transferring the a file over. But since we're live on the Facebook, let's go ahead and get started. We are back today business video school on a totally somewhat different topic, I would say, Nick, wouldn't you? Uh, where we are going to dive deep on the latest and the greatest news, if you will which is TikTok. It just showed up, Nick. So I've got it. Okay. You good to go. Okay. Yep, I am. So Nick, I'm going to let, I'm going to, I'm going to let you give a little monologue as I pull this up and then we'll dive right into the slides. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess we can start off by uh, just sort of updating people on the status of TikTok. Cause I, we got some email responses and some comments on social media. Uh, it sounds like a lot of you uh, were assuming that TikTok was already banned. Um, that's actually not the case. So the executive order that Trump issued initially to ban TikTok got temporarily blocked by the courts. Um, and then since then, you know, obviously TikTok has already has, kind of has this deal pending with Oracle and uh, Walmart, which is kind of interesting. I'm, I'm still not entirely sure how Walmart's going to play into that, but it's, it's an interesting uh, setup. And so, you know, it's not a hundred percent done deal yet. I mean, there are still some uh, some things to get sort of approved, but it does seem to look like TikTok's probably not going anywhere. So, um, unless something drastic changes, and I, I honestly don't think that was the intention in the first place. I think this is all sort of a political move, and um, probably ended up working out the way that uh, Trump was hoping. Um, because yeah, this is a massive platform, and if we were to ban TikTok, that would basically by default make Facebook a monopoly. Um, and I don't think a lot of people have an interest in, uh, in, you know, establishing Facebook as a monopoly and then having to fight them as a monopoly. So I wouldn't be surprised if TikTok is here long term. So I agree. And let me let me add to that. First of all, let me say welcome to Tristan. Tristan just joined us. Welcome, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. So here is the deal. If you are, are, are interested in what's going on with the TikTok worldwide, I think it's called now. So they are distributing 20% of ownership to Oracle and Walmart. Oracle is, is retaining 12.5% to maintain the security. Uh, so that's what's making our government feel much better about this. And here's why this is so important. Uh, and especially if you're into the stock game, if TikTok ever has an IPO. or So there's two different, basically, TikToks now, if you will. There's going to be the original, and there's going to be the one that is, is, is run, the security is run by Oracle. But if you've been paying attention, like the country of India, who has probably as many, if not more followers than any country in the world, ban TikTok. Well, now there's word that they're thinking about, well, if this goes into play and obviously is as secure as we hope it will be, countries like India, countries like Canada, there's a lot of countries that might jump back on. And so... It's something to pay attention to. I am not a stock advisor or an investment advisor, but I can tell you right now that just based on that news alone, I will be investing in the TikTok IPO if and when it comes out. But that's what that's what's happening. And then the other seven and a half percent is going to Walmart, who is going to take over uh, some form of the marketing uh, aspect of TikTok. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I will tell you is, if anybody understands business and understands or has ever followed Walmart. Uh, through the investment chain, through their investment, what they invest in, they make very sound and wise investment decisions. And that's important to pay attention to because I don't think they would be uh, assuming this role or, or purchasing or buying into this if they didn't think this was the future. And you all know me, most of you know me, and you know I've been, I've been barking on TikTok for now almost over a year. And so uh, I do believe it's the future of social media, whether it's TikTok or whether it's something else that's going to come along. Just the technology that is TikTok is going to be, if not already is, the future of technology. So before we get into the slides, though, Tristan, welcome again. I'd like for you to chime in if you have anything to say about any of that. No, oh, you're muted. You're, you're muted, buddy. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> uh, the first time, I, the first thing I do when I wake up every morning is I go to TikTok. I don't go to Facebook. I don't go to Instagram. I go to TikTok, and it's just um, the the way that you consume that social media is just. I feel like it's so much more natural, and it's just more fun right now. And you don't have you don't have all the politics that are going on 
on Facebook and Instagram and even obviously on Twitter, but even on YouTube. So I think it's it's a new place to be and people are still trying to figure out how to work it. I mean, Nick here, he just tested out an ad just a, about a week ago. Yeah. And the results he's getting are insane right now. So it's very new and this is why we're pushing it. Right now is the best time to jump into, well, the best time was last year. The second best time is right now, <laughs> right? right. Uh, so, uh, dude, this is perfect. Nick, you want to go over this or Jeff, whoever wants to, this is beautiful. I'm let, Yeah, I'm letting Jeff run the show today because he's our resident TikTok expert and evangelist. So yeah, Evangelist <laughs> is maybe the right word. I don't know about expert. And and I will say this, folks, let me let me just preface this whole thing because we're going to we're going to go a little a little deep on some of the stats and we're going to talk about some of the buttons and what they do. And we're going to kind of give you an overview of TikTok. Uh, but here's what I want everybody to understand is that, and, and I've been preaching this, it's not just a social app. It's not just a place to go to, 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 to be entertained, which by the way, it's insanely entertaining. It, I, I can't think of anything or have found anything as entertaining as TikTok. However, it's also an incredible creation app. And that's what I use it for. Now, I have, by accident, grown a large audience. And, and Tristan and I are having a lot of fun really just trying to, to learn it and, and, and grow it and figure out how to beat the system, if you will, which is really hard to do, by the way. Uh, but the opportunity there is incredible. But the creation aspect of it, the, 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 how, how it's all native to the app and how you can create all this stuff. And if you guys saw my promotional video for this webinar, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I used like five or six, seven features in that one little video. And that 60 second or less video took me about 10 minutes to create. That's how easy it can become once you learn it. And that wasn't me just learning it overnight. It took me a while. It took me picking, picking my, my daughter's brains and, and YouTubing stuff and, and just figuring it out. But it is absolutely incredible. And I, and I will say this, and, and I, and I, I say this somewhat tongue in cheek and hesitantly, but I'm actually using my full-time videographer less now because of all the stuff I'm creating inside of TikTok. And I hope Papa's not watching because that's the name of my videographer, but I still need him. He's still amazing. But the truth is for a lot of us, for a lot of you out there who say, man, getting hiring a videographer is very expensive. It is. And it's important for some of your videos, but when you're creating this type of content and short form content, gosh, there's so much fun and there's so much cool things you can be features you can be adding to your videos. That's one of the reasons why I absolutely love TikTok. So moving over to this slide, I think some of you have seen this before. Uh, we're just giving you the data. Uh, this just validates uh, how big the platform has become. 800 million monthly users worldwide. There's over 100 million in the US. I think that's what matters. Uh, it's only been around since 2018. That's what kind of makes this app so incredible. The growth has just been uh, unlike pretty much anything else. I'm not sure. Tristan, is it still the sixth largest or is it surpassed and jumped into the top five? Do you know? Mm, dude, with 800 million, that's, that's probably in the top. Well, let's see. Who's number one? YouTube, then Facebook, then Instagram. Uh, definitely in the top five because Twitter, I remember it being around four or 500 million. Yep. It's in the top five, dude. Big yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. Number one downloaded app in 2020. And, and listen, that's going to continue. Uh, we're going to share another, uh, another graph here shortly about how the age gap is changing. The younger audience is actually uh, getting less and the older audiences are growing. This is typical. Remember, folks, Facebook started as a college app that none, no boomers, I wasn't a boomer when it started, but now I am, uh, but we weren't on it in the beginning. We were all over on MySpace and then we all moved over. Uh, Snapchat was, is, is, and by and large still is a teenager app that Mark Zuckerberg has copied like six to 10 times over. Uh, that's important to note because that's the biggest objection we hear from most people is that, well, it's not the right age. And, and I've got a lot, a lot of objections to that, but, but one of them being that you, if you pay attention to the way social media goes, this is how it goes. And so getting in early. So if you sit there and say, well, I'm not getting there because my audience isn't there right now. Well, by the time you join the app, you're going to be so far behind, you're never going to be able to catch up. And so this is that opportunity. This is why you're on this webinar. And I realize that. And that's why I'm saying it to you. So embrace it now, embrace it sooner. Uh, because it's just going to put you that much further ahead. Um, so let's move on to the next. I think I can beat those stats 
uh, into the ground. So TikTok in and of itself is short form mobile videos, 15 to 60 seconds. Actually, you can do them as, as little as like five seconds. Uh, but mostly TikTok was, was started as 15 second content, but you can only go up to 60 second content. And the thing I will mention about that is, and again, I'm using myself as an example. I went live on Facebook and Instagram a lot. Uh, traditionally. And I would just kind of give little monologues about whatever I wanted to talk about. And they would usually be two to five minutes because when we do that, we tend to just vomit. We, we just, we, we, we drag things out longer than they probably need to be. And one of the reasons why I love TikTok so much is it is forcing me to condense that same message into 60 seconds or less which if you think about it is probably what the rest, what the world wants. That's what our audience wants. They want our message, but they want it condensed. And so TikTok is basically going to be uh, changing the, and, and, and changing the way we, had, we, uh, we consume content and, and changing the way people want content, which is short form. Mm -hmm. And so those monologues that you do, I mean, Nick, I was actually thinking about this when you were doing the box one the other day. And I was, I literally uh, was thinking to myself, I would have done the exact same thing. It would have been a five to 10 minute video. And I was thinking to myself, how could he have done that video in 60 seconds? It probably would have been hard, but it changes the way you think and it changes the way you create the content and it changes the way you then deliver the content. Uh, and that's one of the biggest things about TikTok. Uh, licensed music is, is one of the awesome features, as you, most of you know, if you create videos and if you put licensed music in your videos and you upload them to Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, you're getting muted because you don't have the rights to do that. On TikTok, they have bought the rights to pretty much every song that exists, damn near, and you have access to now use that in your content. And then when you're sharing that content back to those social media webs or apps that don't usually allow it, when you have that TikTok watermark on there, it's allowed, so it's really cool. I already mentioned the editing features. There's way too many to go into, but they are simply incredible filter options. Hashtags are critical on TikTok, much like Instagram. It's very important to use what's trending. Gentlemen, anything to add to this slide? Well, I was gonna ask you, Jeff, do you, uh, cause I'm kind of curious about the fact that you can take these clips and share them to other social platforms and end up not getting muted. Yep. Um, do you know why that's the case? Well, I, Tristan, I don't know this for certain, but I believe it's because of that. I believe it's because of the watermark. I, because TikTok has the right. Okay. And I, I believe that's simply it. I haven't actually looked that up. Tristan, do you have any idea? Yeah, because it didn't originate in, in that other platform. It originated with TikTok. So if you see when you're sharing from TikTok to any other platform, there's two ways that it has its watermark, one on the top left and when you try to get rid of that one, it's still in the bottom right, very small. So the way that we do it is we share it into reels because sometimes reels, well, first of all, reels doesn't even let me put my voice and mess up, mess with the voice and volume from the music. So that yeah. sucks. And when I put music in, sometimes it doesn't even let me use that music. So what I do is I create it in, in TikTok, I throw it into reels and all of a sudden I've got a reel. So <laughs> uh, in Instagram, by the way, if you're wondering what reels are. Yeah, Reels, Reels, by the way, is the quote unquote copycat of TikTok that Instagram created, the nothing, Instagram, aka nothing Facebook. Like it. Nothing yeah, like it, it. It's, if, if you're going to put it on a scale of 10, 10 being identical to TikTok, uh, I'd give it about a three and a half. It's, <laughs> oh, it's, it's just not there. And now, and here's the thing, and I think Tristan, you would agree with this Reels, we think, wasn't read well we know we, we read that reels wasn't supposed to be launched until into the united states until uh first quarter of 2021 we think they rushed it because when the whole ban conversation started to happen earlier this summer we think reels just said we gotta go and they took a chance and i actually think it kind of hurt them now uh, nothing will hurt instagram or facebook really because they've had many failures before and, and they'll be fine but uh it's kind of, I think it's strength. It's probably going to strengthen TikTok because people realize I just can't do the same things on reels that I do on TikTok. So why don't I just create it in TikTok and then post it to my Instagram story? Hmm. Yep. Easy. So let's uh, move on. Here. Hack. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see here. So the business case for TikTok. <laughs> oh boy. Where, where do we start here? Um, I, I would agree. So it's a long-term strategy, just like anything on social media. Again, the, the people, I'm not even going to talk about 
the objection of China anymore or the security, because I think we're all agreeing that the future of TikTok is now safe as long as Oracle or a US based company will be running the security. So that's pretty much gone now. So the other biggest objection is simply uh, it's, it's, it's a bunch of teenagers, it's a lot of dancing, it's a lot of uh, you know, gallivanting and just uh, humor and all that kind of stuff. And if that's the case, so it's just like every other social media app where, you know, you can control the narrative. You can control what you see. So if when you open TikTok, if you've been on it for a few months and you're seeing a bunch of 15-year-old girls dancing around, you're going to have to look in the mirror there and say, that's what you engage with. That's what you watch. And that's what the algorithm thinks you want to see. But if you go to TikTok and type in real estate or type in realtor, type in whatever it is field that you're interested in or whatever it is topic you're interested in, that's what you're going to get. And whatever you engage with, you're going to see, and you're going to start to see a hell of a lot more businesses. You are seeing a lot more businesses. You're starting to see ads and it's becoming the new platform where everyone is going. One of the, one of the biggest cases I will make to this that we just recently heard was that most music artists now are taking their music to TikTok to become famous. Let me say that again. They're taking their songs, they're getting influencers, they're, they're taking it to an agency who's creating a dance, who's then giving it to influencers to now do the dance, which is then going to make the song potentially go viral, potentially become a hit, and boom, they've just grown, you know, they've taken their, their song or their, their, their music, and, and they've gone big, and they've hit the top whatever list that they're trying to shoot for, and then now all of a sudden they become radio. Anybody who's been on TikTok for six plus months knows that there's at least, off the top of my head, at least 10 to 20 songs that I heard on TikTok before I heard them on the radio. And that is becoming a thing. And if that's not validation for how powerful that, that it is as, as, as a business strategy, uh, I'm not really sure what other validation I can give to that. Uh, obviously, the reusing of videos elsewhere, I've already mentioned that. Uh, it is integrated with all of the other social platforms. You can literally just share directly from TikTok. Uh, personally, I just share them directly to my phone camera, and then I just repost so I can repost organically uh, because I just like to do that better. Um, and then, of course, the opportunity to grow a large following is like any social app. In the very beginning, the algorithm is not mature. And once the algorithm grows and matures, it becomes much harder to grow followers. So anytime an app is young, the, the ability to go viral is much greater. And that still exists with TikTok. Now, it has is, it is evolved just in the last few months, just in the last six months. I mean, Tristan, remember you and I were talking about this last winter, about how that opportunity is so amazing. And I think it still is. Well, but, I think since then, the opportunity has changed a little bit. Because remember when you and I were talking, we're like, okay, if a video goes viral, you're also going to get a whole mess load of followers. Now it's changed where you can still go viral, but you're not going to get a mess load of followers anymore. You'll get you'll get a good amount, but that's also changing and, and going away. Dude, look what happened over the week with you and I where, where we posted comments, right? Mm -hmm. Just in the comments, the comments go viral, right? And that, that in itself is slowly going to disappear the more people jump in as well. Yeah, agree. And, and I don't know, Nick, did, were you even aware of that? Have you, have you seen that? So Tristan had a comment on a viral video. And Tristan, how, many, how, many, how much engagement do you get on your comment? Uh, hold on, let me check, buddy. Because it, it's still going. It's still growing. So far, I'm up to 1,483 likes on a comment. That's um, insane. I've gotten over a hundred followers from that now. It, it's it's hard to get that many video views on a Facebook video anymore. It's it's right. um it's that's it's it's just incredible. And and going back to just the the beginning, the the first the first bullet point here is understanding what that strategy is. And again, folks, this goes back to just the general social media strategy. And that strategy being that you are you, you social media and now TikTok and, and all of these platforms are today's day and age and the future's day and age billboard. 
and, and bus stop bench or uh, grocery cart advertising, like everything that we did 10 or 15 years ago uh, or, or uh, newspaper advertising, that is now social media. And it's, it's not get rich quick. It's not buy lead, sell lead, close deal. It's not like that. It's, it's a long-term nurture, but there is nothing more sustainable than growing a brand on social media and then understanding how and why to be on the social media platform that is the next level, that is the future. So that way, when, when these audiences, which by the way, the biggest uh, so, uh, TikTok audience is 16 to 24. Well, just think about that. Okay, so you may, maybe you're thinking 16, I'm not interested in that. You're probably right. But in five years, that is gonna be the audience who remembers the people that they saw. And then remember that half that audience is already of that buying age. And in the next five to 10 years, that audience is going to be the biggest driver, uh, in our case, real estate that, that there exists in, in the world. And so having relevance with that audience and rather than chasing, rather than, rather than just living off of ch constantly chasing leads, this is where th they are calling on you. This is where they're reaching out to you. This is where you're attracting versus chasing. And so it's up to you. What strategy do you like? Do you like doing that? Do you like calling expireds all of the time? Or would you like it if your phone just rang because you are the digital mayor of your community because of your presence on social media? And, and understanding uh, the relevance of TikTok is very important with that strategy. Uh, so I, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself, Nick. I, I probably should have spent more time reviewing this, but I, I mentioned this yeah. graph. Uh, and so Tristan shared this. Tristan, why don't you talk about this graph that you shared and, and the importance of it and uh, how it's changing on the ages uh, of, of the audience on TikTok? Well, so you guys saw the earlier graph where it showed 800 million worldwide users. Now, this is specifically in the United States. And over the last few months, it's gone from when Jeff and I were looking at this in February, end of February, they were at about 25 million American uh, U.S. users. And now you have 100 million. That's a massive jump. And obviously, COVID helped a lot with everybody being home and being stuck and trying to do something a little different. But the important part about this is the growing demographics of the people that can purchase homes in the United States. And you can see that the 20 to 29 year olds, the 30 to 39 year olds and the 40 to 49 year olds are slowly growing. And if this is any indication of every other social platform out there and where it's gone, you're going to start seeing the 10 to 19 year olds decrease because the 20 to 40 year olds are going to take over. And that number is going to be over those teenager numbers. That's going to happen anywhere in the next year to year and a half, because that's just the way social media goes. It picks up in, in high school, middle school, and in some cases, elementary school. Uh, but now you have big companies coming in and saying, well, how can we target the right demographics? Pay attention here because it's not too late to jump in and start looking at how you can take control of this for your business. I just sent Jeff and our TikTok. We have a little uh, TikTok, uh, Facebook, no, no. Uh, text thread. Text thread going on. And one agent out of New York just sold a $3 million home through TikTok and USA Today picked it up and did a whole piece on them. So look, it's starting to happen. And it's, it's time to open up your eyes and see how does this fit in to my business plan? Yeah, That's yeah. what you need to start doing. Yep. hundred percent. So, so the objections, you know, we've mentioned this already. I'm going to, I'm going to bypass the first one because I think we're all here today because we feel confident that that is not an objection anymore. And I think you all should feel that same comfort. So that shouldn't be a reason why you're not on the app anymore. Uh, the second one, which really led back into the Chinese, uh, was that it's a spy app. The reality is this. If you do your homework, it's not collecting any different data than Facebook or Google or really probably any app on your phone. It's not, it has none of your – it doesn't ask you for a social. It doesn't ask you for a credit card. It doesn't ask you for anything that they can actually take from you um, that would actually have any impact. So – I just don't think it's a, it's a valid argument anymore because you're giving that information uh, to all of these other uh, apps that, and many of them you probably don't even realize are owned by foreign companies. And so to me, 
throw that one out. And then of course, the last one, we've talked about this um, as well. I am gonna mention this uh, because I've heard this objection before as well is that, and actually Nick, somebody commented on your Facebook post. I don't know if you replied to it yet, but they asked about uh, your post about the ad and they said, what is the demographic of the views that are watching your ad? Which is the same objection I consistently get, which is that, okay, Jeff, cool, you have 30,000 followers. How many of those are teens? Let me explain to you why that doesn't necessarily matter. The same applies to Instagram as well, is that there is something in our DNA that when you go to Instagram, and let's just, let, let's, let's just throw the elephant out of the room here. When you are introduced to someone anymore, whether it's for business, whether it's for personal, what do you do? You go stalk them on a social media platform. It's just fact. That's the way the world works now. So when you as a real estate agent now are up against one, two, three other realtors, what do you think a lot of buyers or sellers are going to do uh, if they're, if they're con considering multiple agents? They're going to go stalk those people, right? And so you're all probably going to have a presence on those platforms. But guess what's going to impress most of your audience, most of your potential uh, buyers and sellers, most of your potential customers? the size of your audience. I know it might sound silly, but it's a fact. It's just the way our brains work. And so if I go to TikTok and say, man, I'm considering this Tristan guy and I'm considering this, you know, Sally Smith, Sally's got like a hundred followers and Tristan's got 10,000. My brain and my eyes gravitate to Tristan because he has a larger audience. It doesn't matter who the audience is. And by, by the way, we can't even see that. There's just the way our brains work. And so it, even though it might be a lot of teens, it might be a lot of younger audience, uh, take advantage of the popularity, uh, the validation that you give to the people that are following you, that are searching you, that are stalking you by the number of followers that you have. And I think, Nick, did you have, did you, did you want to say something? Uh, not at this time. I want to, I'll chime in. I want to mention something about the ads if we have time at the end. Um, Perfect. Perfect. I'll keep moving then. So let's uh, let's move forward to uh, content ideas. And this is something where a lot of people struggle. And they don't just struggle on TikTok. They struggle on all apps. And, and let me just tell you this. TikTok is no different than any other app. Don't get lost in the fact that TikTok's popularity uh, was because of dancing around. That's true. Uh, but just like Facebook's app was popular because it was a college app, you forget that. And we're quickly forgetting that TikTok is a dance app as well, because the reality is, and I'm a perfect example, Tristan's a perfect example. We've taken our pillars of content that we use for all of our content. And all I've done is apply it to TikTok. And so it's the same concept, whatever it is you're doing with your life, create content around that. And again, I use TikTok now when you know how it is when you're you know standing out and you're 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 on the weekend and you're with your family and you want to capture something you know what do you typically do well most people get out their camera i will admit that because i've be, i've become so tiktok driven i'm quicker to open my tiktok app than i am my camera anymore just because i know that i have more ability to to create something really cool with a tiktok now you can yeah. well, real quick you can record on your camera and upload it into TikTok, by the way. I just have, I'm, I'm obviously changing. Go ahead. Jay. Yeah, I think we have a serious problem. <laughs> <laughs> I do good, the same thing, dude. It's a, it's a good problem though. <laughs> I, it, but again, if, if you understand and, and can appreciate the technology that is TikTok, you'll understand that it basically, so for me, it has become, like I said, a content creation. It's become my camera. It's become my camera. It's become my editing tool. It's become everything all in one and with social media app, right? It's everything. And so it's so beautiful. It's so efficient. That's what I love about it. You know, I'm going to interject here something that wasn't planned oh, to help us out here. Um, just, just so people can have a little more clarity. So I know some of you know that we're, we're business video school here. And some of you know what we are, know what we're not. But our focus is mainly on helping you with video content, creating it, curating it through all social networks and outside as well. So I took the time to create the next three months for you every single day on what to do. And we're gonna give it away to those people that sign up today. Obviously, if you're a member, we're gonna give it to you as well. But I wanna steal the window, Nick and Jeff, if you wanna put it on after I'm done. 
just so I can show exactly what this looks like so people can understand the work we put into this. So this is for October to December, 2020. And we have a cycle called Sell, Teach, Advice You that cycles through. This is the actual written one. I also have a calendar one. And we go through the state process for October, November, and all of December. And we're gonna give this all to you so that you, you don't really have to think about what to do. Let's say you forgot to post something on the 4th or the 5th. Well, you go back and you're like, okay, well, what's the trending news topic in the industry? Let's talk about it and explain, right? So what we've tried to do is try to make it a lot easier for you to just pick this up and put it up and say, all right, I understand. Now, let me also show you the calendar itself. It's the same, it's just a different format. You see, here's December, starts here, ends here. Now we're gonna give this all to you. It's already made out. So you literally just have to wake up, open up what the day is and you've got it. So everybody that signs up gets this. If you're already part of this, Nick and Vanessa are gonna send it out to you. Very good. Very good. With that said, Tristan, so I'm, I'll finish up this content uh, slide here real quick. Again, you, you notice if you've listened to us talk before, a lot of the exact same things that we preach about the other social media apps also apply here. It's the exact same thing. 80-20 rule. In other words, create content that's authentic to you as a human being. That's what attracts more eyeballs. Uh, which then creates more opportunities. So I'm going to leave that right there. Tristan, this next slide is all you, my friend, because- Ooh, I like this. That's your quote. Take it over. Well, dude, you know what? Uh, TikTok, it took me a little bit to, to figure this out. The very first time I started, oh, Nick or Jeff, could you please put in the link to BVS so people can sign up? People want to know how to sign up to get this. Are we talking about the link to get on the email list or sign up to join the school? Just sign up to join the school. Okay. Yeah. We'll put that, right, that in the so, chat. Put that in the chat. And so about two and a half years ago, or yeah, it was about two and a half years ago. It was Thanksgiving. Oh, two years ago. There you go. It was Thanksgiving. And I'm like, what is this TikTok thing? And I jumped in and I saw only a whole bunch of dancing teenagers. And I was like, oh, I don't think I could do this. So I tried it. I danced a little bit, made some funny ones. It wasn't working because I'm not funny and I can't dance. So I was like, this isn't for me. So then I started seeing Jeff jump in probably, was it late last year, Jeff? Yeah, it was November, same, same yeah. time. All right, so Jeff jumped in a year after I jumped in, but I wasn't doing anything. And I was like, Jeff, Jeff's jumping in. And I was like, maybe I should really take a look at this. And then Jeff started picking up steam. I'm like, okay, I think I'm gonna pay attention to this. So Jeff is Jeff's the one that pulled me back in. And I was like, let me test this out. So I started testing out different, different ways to connect with the audience. And, and I think finally I found my niche and I wanted to share my screen just to show you exactly what's there. Cause right here you see 500,000 views, but since then it's gone up a little bit more. And I wanna show you some things as to what we're doing to, to get this engagement up as well. Let me, let me just, get TikTok up here. Jeff, this, is, this is this is incredible, folks. I mean, look at the, the total views, which, which he took it back with 503,000 total. You cannot get that on any other platform anymore. Yeah, I mean, exactly. And look, if we go way back a little bit, now I was okay getting about 200, 300 views, right? And then this came around, 673,000 views, right? That was the first one. And I muted it so you can't hear it, but it's a little tutorial on this gimbal that we've done videos on at BBS. But look at the analytics. This is what I love, right? The analytics. You got 53,000 likes, 1,200 shares, 90% of the people reached from the United States. And it was all found in the For You page. That's where I got most of the traffic. So not my personal profile. And this is the amount of hours. Check that out. <laughs> That's insane, right? So it. you're like, it. okay, okay, I'm figuring this out. So I'm like, this did well. Why don't I go along the same route and kind of do the same thing again, but let's try to make it shorter. And so far I have the exact same, 650,000 views now on this one, more shares, right? Look at the likes. Again, United States is heavy and I've got 
less hours viewed because it's a shorter video. 13 seconds average versus 33 seconds on the other one or 36 seconds on the other one. So the stats are amazing. And now I have people asking, well, what is it? How do I engage? Or what do I purchase this damn thing? And let me show you the other one. Let me see if I can show you. Now, these are all recent over the last three weeks that I've done this. But there have been, let me see if I can do it here. No, I can't. I wanted to show you the, the post where I commented and I have 1500 comments on that because that's another way to start getting people to follow you. So ever since this one, I started this one. Now all of a sudden I get, I'm in the thousands on views for the most part, right? It's starting to pick up. So it changes the dynamic and I still try different things. People are like, how do you use this for real estate? Well, I'm still using it for real estate. Here's one that we did. I'm gonna turn on the music on this one. Here goes. That's so wet, that's so clean. I get a bucket and a mop. That's so wet, that's so wet. I'm talking wop, wop, wop. That's so wet, that's so wet. Not go walk, not fuck. All I did is I took snapshots off Redfin, posted it. It's my listing. And here are the analytics. Most people did find it on the For You page. But look, the personal profile has lots. And four hours of views is not bad there. For this. And let me let me also state there that that's probably not a song that Tristan is jamming to in his in his Tesla, but yeah. it's a it, but it was a trending song, and that's what you do. You use what's popular because that's what people are searching for, and that's what's showing up. And that's exactly what he did. He takes a trending song, just puts a bunch of still photos to it. He used the green screen feature, which is super easy to use, and bam, uh, this is what he was able to produce and gets a ton of engagement on it. Yeah. And that's, that's my, that's my little show. I love it. I love it. All right. So let's, uh, let's move along. So I want to show you guys some of the buttons you can use. We've pretty much talked about this until we're blue in the face. This has changed. Uh, lip sync videos are still insanely popular. Dance videos are still impossible. Cringe, prank, fail, all that stuff is still very popular. TikTok, uh, folks, is an, if you're not familiar with it, if you are, you will know this already. It is a copycat content app like that's what's made it so popular is people do something it goes viral and then we all copycat it. i mean literally just what was it tristan two nights ago in our little group uh you would shared something from dog face and said this is trending and you said jeff create something so i did a parody of that <laughs> video it literally took me like five minutes right and and that's the fun that TikTok really is. And, and, and again, it's, it's for me, if you know me, if you follow me, you know that the majority of my content is me sharing my life, but that's what brings me close to my audience. And that's what makes people want to follow me. And that is what has grown my business exponentially just because I get more eyeballs. It's simple as that. Jeff, you do have some funny videos, dude. So I, yeah, we, I gotta give you that. You're a funny guy. <laughs> I, well, I'm an idiot. That's pretty much that's what my, <laughs> that's a that's how that's how my wife would describe me. And so I'm not afraid to do stupid things. And that's what uh, we have fun. Dude, my, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show that video, dude. Hold on, I have to show. Well, that you show the show the uh, show the original one first, so they know why I did it in the first place. Oh, oh, oh okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me grab that because right. we're always having fun here. Let me go to find. Um, so go to this? dog face dog face is on your top accounts right there, oh, right perfect. there. dog face. And let me go to that video. Here's, here's the popular video that everybody's copying. There's nothing to this. He's skateboarding to a Fleetwood Mac song. Uh, Been that's copied like thousands of times 15 million views so far or something like that which is insane oh six there you go 17 million views now which is crazy now let's go to jeff and jeff's like that's a really good video jeff where the hell did you it's put right it there in? morning vibes this one okay There he is, dude. I had to share that one. My wife was none too pleased with me for that one because I was like, honey, I need you to record me on this one. She's like, are you freaking serious? You're going to break her tricycle. That was so good. <laughs> but yeah, it, it made me laugh. <laughs> you got you to have fun. 
you gotta have fun. All right, so let's get back to let's get back to the uh, the slides here. So let's show you some of the features. So those of you who are in TikTok, uh, if if you've just been kind of watching, you may not be familiar with a lot of these buttons. So I'm just gonna quickly jump through this. So when you open, one of the beauties of, of TikTok in and of itself is that when you open the app, unlike any other social media app, it immediately starts playing a video. That's part of the reason why it's such an addictive app because it sucks you right in. So when you open up your uh, TikTok app, it's going to open this up and you'll see at the top here on the or either one of these uh, images, it says following or for you. That's simply what they are. It's either who you're following or so that's that's what will show up on your following uh, page. And then on your for you page is what the algorithm thinks that you want to see based on what you engage with. And so those are the two options you have. And then on the right side here, this is what you're going to see. So you're going to see a picture, uh, which is the uh, TikTok profile for the person, whoever you're watching there. That's also how you would go to file, uh, follow someone or go stalk them or go see their other videos. Then you've got the little heart button where you can like the video, just like the other social media app. You have the ability to like a video. Uh, then you've got a comment comment button, very simple. You comment, give and give love, engage. Like Tristan said, that's a strategy on social media. This applies, by the way, to Facebook and Instagram as well, and YouTube for that matter. Uh, if you're trying to grow your followers, building in a strategy of engaging other people creates, they, they, they will then engage you back. And in many cases, I don't know what the percentages are, maybe 10 to 20% of the time, they'll follow you. And so it is a strategy. It does work. You've, I've even heard Gary Vee has been preaching this for years. Um, and so we, we know it's, we know it's powerful if he's preaching it. Do yourself a favor. Also, if you're watching this, take a snapshot of yep. this yep. because you're going to be going back to this when you're, when you're on TikTok, you're like, what was this? What was that? And it'll help you out a lot. Yeah, or or even open the app on your phone while you're while we're going through it, and and you'll see what I'm talking about. Because uh, the, the next button is very important. That's the share button. So it's not just share. When you open up the share button, it's actually going to open up a, a bunch of options. Uh, but mainly, it's it's share, it's save. Uh, we don't have time to go too deep on this today, but there's various options from, from when you open that up. It allows you to share it to other social media apps. It allows it to download it and save it on your phone. It allows you to text it to somebody. There's so many different options when you choose that share button. Um, and that's, that's, uh, it's an incredible feature. And then the bottom little uh, picture here is of the sound. And this is important because again, you want to use sounds that work, or if you want to uh, rip off and duplicate, or you want to uh, mimic or copy a video, you want to do it your own way like I did. All I did was I clicked on that little record that's spinning, which was a Fleetwood Mac song. And then it pulls up the option that you can, A, you can watch all the videos that, that play to that music. B, you can save that music to your favorites. Or C, you can literally click use the sound and it opens up the video on your app so you can start creating a video with that sound. Incredibly easy. Uh, yep. And then moving over to the right side here, you'll see that we're, we go over these bottom buttons. So uh, the little home there, uh, obviously it's it's the home button, but what that basically does is it refreshes your screen. So it just refreshes uh, what you're going to see. It brings up something new. Uh, the discover button is another incredibly powerful tool that you should be using on TikTok. It will take you to a search page where you can see number one, what's trending. You can also search for anything that you possibly want, whether it's to search uh, different uh, types of videos, whether it's uh, a certain genre or a certain niche that you're looking for, whether it's a certain sound you're looking for. There's so many different ways you can do uh, things you can do with the discover button. And then the uh, plus button there is where you would start a video. So if you're going to create your own TikTok, go to the plus little button there. Uh, then you've got your notifications. That simply is what it is. Uh, it's important, just like every other social media app, make sure you're engaging with your audience. Those that are giving you love, give them love back. Uh, I don't care if they're they're uh, 13 year olds or they're 75 year olds. Uh, engage your audience. It's it's very important. And then lastly is the little uh, little person there, the little me that takes you to your personal profile. That's where you will you will see uh, and you have all of your stuff, your drafts, your your videos, uh, your saved sounds, your saved effects, your saved videos. That's all right there. So then the next the next screen here uh, is what it would look like if you went to go produce a video. So if you would hit the little plus sign, it will take you to this left screen here where you will see all of these different options. And, and let me tell you right now, when you're looking at this and you're seeing all these arrows and you're seeing all these features, you're probably thinking to yourself, holy crap, this is overwhelming. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, and I know how to use it. <laughs> it, 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 and, it and it is. I, I'm not going to lie to you and say that it's like you're going to pick up the app tomorrow and be an expert at it. It'll take you a while. 
But that's why those of those of you who actually take this and take it seriously and have the patience to take the time to learn it, it becomes very easy once you practice. It's no different than, you know, you know, Nick, we preach this all the time. You're not going to pick up your video camera tomorrow and be eloquent. And it's just think words are just going to come easy and you're going to be a natural. It takes practice. And TikTok is no different. So I'm going to quickly go through this. Uh, at the top here is the status bar. So in other words, uh, as you're recording a video, that's the status. And again, you can choose. I'm going to jump down here to the bottom here where you can choose video length. So you can choose 15 or 60 seconds. I do have a recommendation when you're getting started with TikTok, when you're creating videos, get in the habit of choosing the 60 second option because there's nothing that's going to tick you off more when you have a multiple cut video yep. and you ran out of time because you only chose the 15 second option because your video can be 17 seconds, 23 seconds, 38 seconds. It can be whatever you want it to be, but you have to make sure you choose that 60 second option so it gives you the time to create it. Uh, Lynn, let's yep. go back up here to the top right. Uh, you've got a flip button, so you can flip it on you or on what the camera is looking at outwardly. Uh, you can adjust the speed. There's a lot of fun you can have with that. You can go up to three times uh, speed, uh, so you can speed up or you can slow it down to three times uh, in, into a, a, a slowness. I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for there is, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, there's the beauty button. I've never used that before. It's basically just a filter to make my wrinkles go away, essentially. Um, so some of you might like that. I never use it. Uh, filters is filters. I think most of you know what those are. There are more filters than you will ever know what to do with. But if, you're if you enjoy filters, you can have a lot of fun with that one. And then the timer button. This is another amazing feature that you pretty much don't get with anything else. And what this is, is it gives you two options. It gives you a three second timer and a, and a 10 second timer. And what that means is when you start a video, you can now set your camera down, step back and then start your video. So you don't have to edit and, and it, you can set it to, uh, to start in three seconds. And it, and it, it times you like it counts down three, two, one, and it has like a sound or you can do 10 seconds if you need more room. Um, so there, it's, it's a really cool feature that once you get the hang of it, it allows you to really make some, some cool videos and it makes it easier for you. Uh, there's the speed bar that I mentioned from the adjust the speed there. You can see uh, you can, you can go as fast as three X or you can slow it down to a third of the speed. Uh, and then this button right here, Remember when I said you don't have to always video within the app, you can actually, you can import from your camera. This is where you would do that. You can just upload anything, an image or a video from your camera. Um, and there is also what, once you've created a video, this little guy right here, this little check mark will be right here where the upload is. That just takes you to the next screen, which is this on the right side. And then on the right side, so once you, once you go to the next screen, so once you've recorded something, now it's going to give you a whole new set of options. And there's more filters. You can adjust your clips. So some of you have probably heard us talking about jump cuts. That's one of the things I love most about TikTok. Um, and if you've ever watched influencers on YouTube, and in their, their longer videos, but if you've noticed, it's very, very popular editing feature to do jump cuts. And what a jump cut is, is just simply a cut from, instead of it being a fluid 10, 10 minute video where you're just talking all the way through, they cut the video to where it, it, it's, it, it just jumps from one segment to the next. It's very, very popular. And if you go follow any just talking head influencers on YouTube, you'll see exactly what I mean. I use the heck out of it now because I love it. Uh, so I will take a 60 second, 20 second video and intentionally jump cut the entire video because it's just become a popular way that people want to view videos. Uh, voice effects is cool. You can change your voice into a chipmunk or a baritone or so many other things just with a couple clicks of buttons. And then voiceover is also incredible. You can take a video that you have no sound to and voice over it and just talk over it and explain. Like, for example, when Tristan was doing a tutorial, he doesn't have to talk through that. He can just record it and then he can go back and do a voiceover. And it's actually very easy to use. Um, it, it's, it's uh, again, incredible technology. And then at the bottom here, you've got the ability to obviously choose your sound. So we talked about how you have, uh, there's, there's millions of options of music. You can do that right there. Effects, there's another, so there's, there's an effects button over here. Uh, there's also more effects over here. There are different types of effects that you can use. You just have to play around with this. I don't have enough time in one day to go through all the effects with you. 
Uh, most of you have seen, if you've been on TikTok, you've seen all of the different text that you can add and how you can adjust the duration of the text and they can pop up through various, uh, various times in the video. This is where you would do that with the text button. And then of course, stickers. So just like uh, you know Instagram or Facebook stories where you can get GIFs and you can get different stickers and polls. This is the exact same feature on TikTok. So there's a lot of fun things you can do to your videos. And then once you're done there, and I know what you're thinking, this is a lot, Jeff, can you go back and talk about this? We don't have time today, um, but Nick, correct me if I'm wrong, we're probably gonna be creating a lot more a tutorial videos and probably also trainings where we will go deep on this stuff. So are we going to, I was going to say, are we going to do a training in business video school oh, yeah. for, for all of our members? A hundred percent. Yeah. Yes. Let, let me jump in for a second here. Cause I wanted to show, share some links before we run out of time since we're getting low on time. So if you want to just take a quick break here, everybody, if you hop over into the chat, um, there's three links. The first is to our business page. If you want to follow us on Facebook, the second is to register for our email list where we give all kinds of free video education uh, all the time, right? So if you're just looking to get sort of a free sample of the school. But the big one I wanna talk about is link number three, which is we're doing a tour next week of business video school. So if you feel like, I, I know it's kind of a lot to just get a link and go sign up for something that costs money. So I'm not necessarily expecting you to do that right now. But if you wanna register for that tour, we'll go ahead and include that calendar um, if you register that day as well. So if you join our tour next week and you like the school and we're going to show you a sample of a course, a sample of a workshop, a sample of what we call video recipes where we actually create an example video and we create a script and we create a Facebook post and we share all that with you every single week. Um, it's going to be a really great chance to just sort of check the school out and see if it's a good fit for you. So that's link number three. I, I just went ahead and, uh, well, now it's link, uh, well, still link number three of the ones I <laughs> Now I put another link in there, Nick. He wants you to go sign up right now. I can Just understand that. Um, but anyway, so if you want to check that out, and then to answer, uh, to, to reiterate on what Tristan said, we are currently developing an entire course on TikTok. We have workshops we've already done. Um, we're probably going to be doing another workshop on TikTok here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, if you get into the school, you are obviously going to get a lot more education on this stuff, and you'll be learning uh, directly from all three of us. And obviously I'm, I'm the, the novice out of the three of us when it comes to TikTok. Um, but yeah, that'll be available. So if you want, please go ahead and get registered. Uh, I'll go ahead and post all the links one more time. Just so everybody has them fresh in your, in your chat there. The bottom of those three links is the link to the tour. And if you do enroll in the, I see a couple of questions. You do need to get enrolled into business video school to get the, uh, the calendar that Tristan was talking about. So you can either sign up today. They'd be happy to have you and you can get started with us right away. Um, or you can join us on the tour next week and we'll give you the calendar if you join uh, that at that time as well. So cool. Awesome. And I think we've got to wrap up folks. This is just, as you've been looking at this screen, this is just where it takes you to the next page. I think this is more reason why there's so much to talk about, about TikTok that uh, we definitely need to break this up and do some training. So for those of you that are interested, that's coming uh, because we just don't have time anymore. Uh, but I think, Nick, do you want to give them where they can, if, if they want to get the slides, if you mentioned that already, mention it again, and where they can see a copy of this recording so they can at least uh, get caught up. Yeah, the always, easiest place to find the recordings is always just go to the LCA YouTube uh, channel and definitely subscribe when you get there. Um, I think the recordings are usually posted within a couple days. And we generally will also email them out. But I, yeah, the big, the big thing in terms of what you want to get signed up for today um, would be that tour for next week. That would be the one I'd really recommend uh, getting registered for. And lastly, so I'll just mention this. Uh, if you want to take a picture of this real quick, we got to wrap up in less than one minute. These are some of the people that have inspired us. Obviously, we're on here as well, but these are some of the people that have inspired us uh, that are specifically in mortgage and real estate. And it's a broad range of types of content that they produce. So if you haven't taken a picture of anything yet today, grab, snap a picture of this because there's a lot of very unique content. Go find the people that you resonate with the most, learn from them, emulate them, and create your own brand around that. It's exactly what we do. That's our secret. It's not even a secret because we're sharing it. Uh, but I hope you guys gained a lot from this today. Sorry, we had to cut it, cut it short. Uh, but uh, Sandra will uh, probably shut me off for good if I don't end this webinar. Right. <laughs> so Thanks, with that. With that, we will wrap up and we look forward to doing many, many more of these uh, in the future because uh, folks, I'm gonna say it again, TikTok is the future of social media. The technology is incredible. Embrace it, learn it, get into it. It will have an impact on your career. And sign up for a business video school. Oh yeah.
Please do. No big deal. All right. We'll see you there, guys. Cool. Thanks, Nick and Jeff. Thank you, everybody. See ya. Yeah.